Chow Chin Chow, Slant Turn Joe here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Black and White Free Genesis Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we took on the Dragon Spiral Tower right here in Icarus City or Icerus City or wherever you want to call it. And sadly, we may have lost a few mons, but uh, we learned the Shadow Triad sort of turned, well, I would say they turned heel because of, uh, I'm an old wrestling fan, but really in a way they showed their true colours really. They weren't really in the uh, Team Plasma for uh, Zinzolan, they were in Team Plasma for Getsis. So they decided to kick Zinzolan to the curve really, if you will. Because they showed their true colours and took the Mind Link, which is the thing they were using for Genesect, to uh, to get this, but today we are going to be taking we're going to be going back to Oberlucid City and getting the Eighth Gym Badge. That is what today's episode is. Looking at the team rather quickly, we start off. We have Volcano the Volcarona level sixty-two. Uh, I should show you the move. I moves. There we go. Moves. Uh, it is level 62 with Lava Plume, Psychic, Quibidance, and Bug Buzz. Then we have Claire the Dragonite, level 62 with Blizzard, Dragon Pulse, Aquatel, and Rock Slide. Then we have Jack the Superior, level uh, 62 with Energy Ball, Leech Seed, Dragon Breath, and Glare. We have Pitbull the Granville, level 62 with Play Rough, Iron Tail, Dig, and Rock Slide. We have Shelly Dan v Caracosta, level 62, with Surf, Bulldoze, Rock Slide, and Blizzard. And we have Sting the Drapion, level 62, with Strength, Crunch, Cross Scissor, and Cross Poison. There you go, that is the team rather quickly. I'm looking forward to using this team now, because I've got a lot of Pokemon that I'm really looking for. I've got a Pokemon I've really fallen in love with, like Sting and uh, Granville and stuff like that. And now adding things like uh, Dragonite to the thing uh, to the team is really going to help out this team and make it a bit more rounded. I think Dragonite's got a lot of physical attack, which I don't know what to do with because I don't really have. I need to get, figure out a good way of getting hold of shards rather quickly, which I'm not sure exactly how to do. If this was normal, like, black and white, I'd be able to figure out ways of getting shards rather easily. But, not here in black and white 3. You know, Gen 3, uh, Gen 2 ROM hack of it. But, uh, we are here. It is time. This is uh, Drayden's gym. I'm going to throw Pitbull up front, and we're going to go for this. Yo, Challenger! This is, uh, this is Leader's Gym, sorry, this Gym, this, uh, Gym Leader's is Dray, Gif's Gym's Leader is Drayden, the Master of Dragons. All of his pupils train with dragon type Pokemon too. They're wild and unpredictable. The best bet, uh, your best bet would be to bring a fairy type Pokemon. Dragons also don't like the cold. So try using ice type moves too. Okay. And it's looking like this is sort of based upon the black and white one design for this gym. Again, in a Gen 2 style, but still a black and white one. Which is rather cool. A lot of the mons here don't seem, you know, like most of them are going to be like things that would evolve into dragons. Like you're going to see a squad low. You might see like a or like a horsey in here because <laughs> as eventually that will become a Kingdra. 
yeah, there's a horsey, for example. That will eventually become a dragon. It's not a dragon now, but it's eventually going to become a dragon. Why did I iron tail? That's going to do nothing to a horsey. I mean, they're decent. Oh, Pitbull. Okay, this thing is setting up on me and I'm a little scared. I'm gonna go into uh, Jack here. I mean, a Dragon Dance uh, Hydro Pump's gonna do nothing. That's not a thing. But still, you know, I was planning on doing Bryson today and going for the Ice Gym puzzle, but like, I don't really know how to... I've been trying to figure out that puzzle, but off screen to so that I can show that bit off in the game, but I'm not exactly sure. So I'll have to try and uh, get hold of Azure Keys and see if I can uh, like get the original, uh, get the uh, map designs and see if we can figure out how to get through uh, the Icera City Gym and see if there's actually any reason to go through it, uh, you know, see what's in there. I want to go and do it, believe me. There's a question of what, what is in there because I want to show practically everything off that I didn't get a chance to show in the reg when we were doing the trial run of this game. In the trial run, we only got to show off a little flavour, but now... This thing is in full production. This is a complete ROM hack. I want to show off the whole thing. I want to show you guys everything. And, and of course, also do the Nuzlocke. But I, I want to show you guys everything while still doing the Nuzlocke. If I can, because this game was so good. And what, uh, and what Asha Keys has done is absolutely amazing from what I've seen so far. And I just want to keep on showing uh, this game off and just keep doing that because this game is awesome. The key problems like having a fairy type in this gym is actually going to be really useful because like the counters that Dragon has to fairy don't exist in this version of the game. You know, you're not going to see the Rudigon. Or Arc Archie are gone. They don't exist yet. So I can basically try a few things and uh, hope they work. Dragon air? Uh, using Dragon Breath there was actually a pretty good idea and it did actually work out pretty nicely. It's not Stab uh, because Jack is not a grass dragon type, unlike he is in Dreyanu Rom Hacks. Jack is not a grass dragon type. But he still learns a lot of dragon he still learns a few dragon type moves here and there. And kind of looks dragony. Now I'm in the gym, I don't need a repel. What do you got for me, veteran? Veteran Hugo has a fracture. Hey, that's something I can play rough. I mean, I will admit, drawing, grinding, I did find a shiny frac. I did find a shiny axe. You. It's uh, in this game is red, and it looked absolutely amazing, but I couldn't catch it sadly. So. <laughs> That's uh, a shame, really. But I already have a fra I already have a Hacks Lord who is my Axew who's in the box at this moment in time. So it wouldn't technically be allowed, but you know, it's kind of cool. And, and I will not lie to you guys. I w I didn't. I did find it, and it looked rather cool in Gen Two. So. I was, I was very excited to see it, but uh, 
Uh, but sadly, I didn't catch it. So that's the second fox shiny I found this week. Not in this game, but it's like the second shiny I found overall this week. Because I also found a shiny in Pokemon Sleep last night. Uh, yeah. So I found a shiny uh, Bonsly in uh, Pokemon Sleep. Uh, I didn't even realize there were shinies in Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> but yeah, there are shinies in the game. Uh, when you go to the ocean, uh, the beach area of uh, Pokemon Sleep, uh, yeah, the, I think it's not the second area you unlock in Pokemon Sleep. Uh, it uh, you get a different colored uh, uh, Snorlax. That's not shiny. I know it sort of looks like the shiny Snorlax, but it's not shiny. It's not shiny Snorlax. It's just a different recolored. It's just a different recolored Snorlax. So, that's not shiny Snorlax. I found my way to the leader, but I want to face the rest of these gym trainers. Because again, I'm trying to show off this, uh, this hack. So, I want to show off the rest of the, uh, these gym trainers, so I'm going to keep going. And see if we can show off the rest of these gym trainers. Oh look, there's a dino! I love Dino and Hydreigon. It's such good Pokemon. Just, I just wish that Hydreigon it wasn't, you know, the way it is because like you have to wait until the like the high the like mid sixties before you even get a Hydreigon, which kind of makes uh, all that grinding for Hydreigon kind of well not really worth it in a way, really. I feel like that way with a lot of the dragons, personally, because like it's like power later. Like that's my definition of a dragon type Pokemon. It's a power later Pokemon. You'll you'll get power. It's just you'll get it a lot later than you would with other Pokemon. And whether you're willing to wait for that power is another question. Because it's a long, it's a lot, it's a big ask. That's a wireless. I should probably go and heal after this. Uh, if I'm actually heading towards the gym trainer, uh, the uh, gym leader again. So I should probably go and heal after this because. I'm running low on play roughs and I'm going to need play rough for that, uh, for the gym leader. So I'm going to go and heal after this. But it's good gym. Look, the, the sim design based on black and white one is so good. Yeah, that's, so that's the gym leader there. Okay, so I'm gonna go and run and heal. And then we'll go and uh, face this gym. And see what Drayden's got for us here. I wonder, I wonder what the Elite Four is gonna be like in this game, because, you know, one of the Elite, the, Ghost leader of the Elite Four is now an actual gym leader, so maybe Clay's made his way into the Elite Four, because, you know, he's a good trainer, he just very much deserves that, or uh, 
trying to figure out what else could be in the Elite Four if, uh, if it's not clay. So I don't really know what's going to be there, but it's going to be cool to find out. And there we go, that is a uh, quick way back to Drayden. We are back here at Drayden, so let's uh, save the game rather quickly. Post for from now, and let's do it. Welcome, thank you for coming. I am the, Overlooser's, uh, the Overlucid City Gym Leader, Drayden. As the mayor, I have given everything to develop this city. As a trainer, I have been pursuing greater strength. What uh, I'm searching for now is a young trainer uh, that can show me a bright future. Perhaps you can show me that future the way Iris has. I can try. Let's do this, Drayden. Okay, so you start with a Flygon level 58. Okay. With EQ. Okay, power. I can handle power. I can handle EQ, though. Ish. Okay, level 64 for Pitbull. Nice, I will very much take that. And the Kingdra. Don't like the focus energy that can give you all the crits in the world. That's like Dragon Cheer. I very much prefer you not to do things like Dragon Cheer and focus energy. Dragonite. Iron Head. Oh dear. I mean, I live, but ugh, at what cost? What about your final Pokemon? It's a Hax. Okay. I'm going to go and switch out. Shelly Dam. Iron Tail. I live that. Don't like you doing that but I've hit the blizzard you shouldn't be living this not with a life orb crit I don't even know if that was necessary but I will take it nonetheless but he started dragon dancing so I was a little scared of what he was planning so I'm very much uh, glad I got a crit there because he could have been planning something evil there. We got the legend badge. This is Overlucid City's gym badge. With the legend badge, all Pokemon will follow all of your commands. I also want you to have this. It's a TM I'm rather proud of. TMO2 Dragon Claw. This teaches Dragon Claw. It's a wild and powerful attack, benefiting the Dragon type. It's uh, not the passage of time that causes Pokemon and people to age. When the energy that flows through their hearts dries up, that's when they get old. The heart's energy is powered by the truth, ideals, 
and maybe dreams. No doubt about uh, no doubt about it. Changes depending on what uh, you hope uh, on what you most hope for in life. Okay, cool. Thank you, Drayden. What are we going to see once we get out of this gym, though? I can uh, fudge that up there, didn't I? <sighs> oh, okay. I was thinking like something was going to happen, but like, nah. That's it, really. I guess the next thing to do would be to go through where... Uh... Uh, to go through uh, the giant chasm, really. Which is back in Leventia Town. So, we'll head up that way now and see where we can go from there. Because we've only just gone like 20 minutes, so we've still got time here in this episode, so. I'll uh, put on a repel and see where we can go. There. No, 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 no. I had them. There we go. And we'll see where we can go from there. Yeah, back in Lacanos. Uh, this is Lacanosa Town. And then this is the giant chasm here. And now. We can finally make it up to Route 23. Stop! Ahead lies the path to the Pokemon League. Only those who have collected all eight gym badges may enter. You cannot pass unless you have the Wave Badge. Oh, that's the Wave Badge. You may pass. Stop! Ahead lies the path to the Pokemon League. Only those who have collected all eight gym badges may pass. Oh, that's the Spooky Badge. Okay, so I have the Spooky Badge. Yep. I have all eight gym badges. That is the insect badge. I can pass. So we have badge check gates, just like in uh, red and blue. That's pr interesting. I will also see what items these are. Green shard, nice. And that's a HP up. Okay. And we can continue on. Oh. This is a new route. So we can get an encounter here. But before we do that. Let's get our full. Uh, let's show off the toxic badge. Because we have that. And my encounter for route 23 is a. Oh, did no. I mean, it's level 17. I can't hit this thing. I can paralyze it. Yeah, Jack can glare it. Draining kiss. Okay. That does nothing, but thank you. Uh, yeah, I can glare it. And I can... I can seeds it, too. Yeah, give it some seed. Yeah, you know, zap its energy with seeds. Okay, that's basically all I can do uh, when it comes down to it. So, guess we'll just throw some balls and see what happens here. Let's see what we can do. One, two, lantern gel. No. Oh. 
still time though. Still time, there's not really much else we can do damage wise, so just it's a matter of time, one. Yeah, it's just a matter of time really and whether what runs out first. The leech uh you know the ball my balls or his of his HP due to the leech seed. One, two, and St. Joe. Oh come on. Come on, old Dino, come with me. I mean, if you did that safeguard earlier, I wouldn't have been able to leech seed or glare you. Actually, I might have been able to leech seed you, but I probably wouldn't have been. I would definitely wouldn't have been able to glare you. Come on. Get in the ball, please, old Dino. There's only a few. I'm like. I have one more Ultra Ball left. I have a few. I have plenty of other balls. It's just that I don't have. I mean, maybe you'd like a level ball. Because the lower level the Pokemon is, you know, the greater level difference it is, the more likely it is to catch. And it. There we go. It liked the level ball. The science behind the level ball is golden. And all to know is he, ours. Cool. Don't really know what to call you. Um, don't really use Ordinaire uh, that much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call you Lisa. But there we go. That is. Ordinum. And that is our encounter for Route 23. We have the basic badge, so we can continue on. That is. You are looking for the garnish badge. We have that. We have the jet badge, so we can get to carry on. What do you want? You're about an actual battle. Let's do this. Oh, you have an Emolga. I like Emolga. It's a Elisa, Elisa, and I'd like to have a Lisa bar. It hurts. So you can go like this, or rock sliding her like this. But it is what it is. What else do you have for me? A Humorel. Well, that's Jack's territory. Double edge. That's gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Did decent damage, but I'm okay. Zap it with an energy ball, please. There we go. Good work, Jack. Don't have a waterfall, so I can't get up that. Maybe this is important to getting waterfall. Maybe if we beat the Swanner up, we'll get waterfall. We will honestly see. Swano is a pretty bulky mon, but yeah, we got Rock Slide. We should be fine with it. And what else you got? Garvanture. 
I can handle that too, as long as you keep on just not bothering to try and hit me. Oh. Pitbull, this is not the time for you to miss. Just throw some... Just lend the rock slide and get this over with, Pitbull. There we go. Good work, Pitbull. What is this? That's a PP up. Hmm. I wanted to, I wanted waterfall. I thought we were heading towards like waterfall or something big here, but like no, sadly not. I do want to see what's up here though. Oh, it's a, it's a shroom here. It's a breloom. That's too soon, game. That's too soon. I lost breloom last episode. That's a low, that's a low blow. Oh. Okay. That just avoids trainers. Okay. Uh, that's a Sealy Ovo, and that's a scary Pokemon. I mean, it's not too scary, but it's a scary Pokemon for, like, uh, Jack to be dealing with. Even though Jack is a good answer for Celio. It's not the best answer for Celio. Ooh, that's a Lucario. That's an also scary Pokemon to be dealing with. Don't really have an answer for this. Except for Volcano. Ooh, his mind, his mind is calm. Okay, your mind is calm. I understand that, but... Do you like flames? Does your calm mind like flames? No, your calm mind does not like flames. Your calm mind does definitely not like flames. Oh, I can't get through that. I'm gonna have to come back here when I have cut. Which means in other words I'm gonna have to go and bring my cut I'm gonna have to go and bring the cut my cut mom with me. Scolopede. Okay. Cross poison! That's gonna hurt! Live, 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 thank you. Rock Slide does decent damage, but it didn't kill, which means, in other words, uh, this thing can f possibly finish Pitbull off, which I'm not okay with. Um, Sting, you resist the Cross Poison, and the Black Sludge can recover it, and Strength can finish you off. There we go, thanks, Stink. And a Houndoom. I can cross his that? It's not super effective because the fire resists, but it does decent damage. And I can live a flamethrower from you, right? Yeah. I li I'd beef that easily. I know the cross scissors should kill. Oh. Okay, maybe not then. I'd live another one of these though. Uh, strength. Okay, cool. 
And what do you have for me? You have two Pokemon. Start with Magmar. Oh, I'd love to go into Shelly Dan. Can I bring Shelly Dan in? Last episode, there was a Magmar that decided to use Thunderbolt on me, and it was scary. And bringing Shelly Dan in was uh, was a bad thing. Question is, will Shelly Dan be able to do anything here? With the sun up, not so much can be done with the surf. I might have to rock slide this thing. It's annoying that you went for the sun. I can handle this. You will do a bit more damage with your fire blast this turn, which is great for you, bad for me, but still. You gonna finish this? Yeah, there we go. Nice crit. Unnecessary, but crit, nonetheless. And your, what's your final one? Come on, show me something. It's a Magmora. The strong, the sunlight is strong. You missed. I'm gonna rock slide you, it's gonna hurt. I'm more of a physical attacker than I am special. So Rockside should do more. Yeah, it kills. Awesome, cool. Good thing this was not a uh, a thunderbolting dragon, a uh, thunderbolting magmorta because oh, I do not want to see a thunderbolting magmorta. There's a legend badge. That's Victory Road. And we are here. Off screen, I will, uh, I think in the next episode, we will go through Victory Road and see where things go from here. It's more, I think this is probably gonna be a more like black and white two design of Victory Road. Which is really cool. I'm gonna. Uh, bring open box uh, 14. And we're gonna. Move Pokemon without mail. Pick up Granville. Put Granville in box two. And then we're going to bring back Watcher. Watcher just cut, doesn't he? Yeah, Watcher. No, no, no. no. Watcher. And let's go and see what's. Let's go and see what lies behind that cut bush. From Watcher, because I want to see. I want to see what I'm getting myself into. Now I have the ability to cut things, I should be able to go through and see what happens. There's a lot of strength here. I have strength. I have what is necessary to do this. So I'll push that down there and uh, we'll go from there. What do you got for me? Pip 
Pillow Swine. Ooh, that's a scary Pokemon to be dealing with because I all my Pokemon that I usually would be deal I guess maybe Volcano, but It's a question of whether Vol it's a question of whether Volcano can actually do it. Lava plume. Volcano, please. But why is this is a very scary mon? Beautiful. And a promo pass. Uh, that's a scary mon for you to be facing. Lock on. Okay. Let's go for the surf and see what we damage we're doing. But I'm not exactly 100% behind this. Oh, well, unless you're just going to do that. If you're just going to lock on, I'm fine. But I can do another surf. That's fine. If you're not going to lock on Earthquake. Or lock on Bulldo, you know, lock on powerful ground type move that will take Shelly out. That's where the scary bit would be. Down here is an iron. What you got for me? Three Pokemon, you got Dratini to start, okay. Claire. Dragon Pulse. Beautiful. And a Dracini. And again, Dragon Pulse. Claire can handle herself here against other dragons, even though she is a dragon herself, which is kind of makes it scary for her to be going against other dragons. And a Dragon Air. But we can still handle that. It's got... Yeah, nice. Okay, what is up here then? Pokemon Ranger Steve has a Stumpfisk! I mean, I'd like to go for the Blizzard. Hey, I hit a Blizzard! I was not expecting me to hit a Blizzard! For freeze! You're bulky enough to live a blizzard, which is weird to say, but... And a dra- and two dragon pulses? And the Moongus. Uh, that's- no, 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 not watcher, no, not bring watcher in. Volcano. I can live a sludge. Yeah, that doesn't offer him. Fine. And 
flames of the lava plume should kill. Beautiful. Nice, good work, uh, Volcano. Okay. A lot of things to get through in order to... Uh... Yeah, you can move that... this one here bow you Tiffany has a Bulldor. Okay, that's a scary Pokemon for uh, Claire. Jack is the better play here. Claire can handle this, but Jack is the better play. And go for the energy balls because that should do some serious damage, I think. Yeah. And one more then should kill from here. Agron. Okay. Okay, that's a scary Pokemon again, but I should be fine. It shouldn't go to. Should go down to like one or two of these. It might live. Ooh. It does live. Okay, sand is going to boost its speed anyway. But not fast enough to be faster than Jack, even with the agility up. Which is great, so. I'll take him down. Okay, so now if we push this in here, and we can see what this is. This is a full restore. Nice. And then we can get behind here, and we can push this in. Uh, what do I do here? Because I know it, I can see where it needs to go. It's just a question of how to get there. That's the M35 for Flamethrower. Uh, can I push you... Should I push you a bit further down? No, no. I think what I need to do is I need to push you into the grass. And then push you up and then like do that and then go back go up here now I should one more across and then down twice and then we can go across from here there we go And we can battle you. That's what you have for me. Battle girl Miki has a good. Something I don't really have a lot of things that deal with because I didn't bring.
things that deal with girder. Kind of didn't he? I am taught fly or uh, psychic to. Uh... Anything so good or is a bit uh, risky. My play f uh, for fighting types would be uh, Pitbull, but not really much else. So I'll just, I'll just have to overpower you and see what happens. Which I'm doing okay with at this moment in time. Overpowering you is working and you're beefy enough to live that. Just need to not get that 10% mishap so you get with Aquatail. Nice. And the final item is a PP Max. Okay. There we go. That is Route 23. So, that is everything that we need to get here. I'm going to go and head back down to uh, Victory Road's Pokemon Center and we're going to end off the episode there. In the next episode, we will take on Victory Road and see how dangerous it's going to be it might be a two, it might be a two episode to tell you the truth because i know uh, black and white 2's victory road is quite a long one so it might be two episode it might need two episodes to uh, take it on which personally i'm fine with but uh don't know if you guys are This is the way. No, no, down here. And then cross, and then then we can see what the time is. PP up, nice. And then further along is another area where the razor fang exists. Cool. Okay. So that is everything before Route 20, uh, before Vic was heading into Victory Road itself. So we're going to end off this episode here. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. In the next episode, we're going to take on Victory Road on our way to the Pokemon League. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe. Mean to the Pokemon, get to us. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing for more videos. And of course, if you ring the bell, you'll be notified first when those videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. And of course, if you want to watch some more videos, there should be something in the top right and top left hand corner of this here end card. But until next time, I have been Lantern Joe, and I'll see you on the next video.